What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another McFarlane Toys action figure review on the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Thomas Wayne Batman from Flashpoint. If you're trying to get your McFarlane Toys, you can do so. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Dorkside Toys is a store for you. Link below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. We need the 1 million subscribers. And a big thank you to McFarland Toys for making this review possible and sending out this product sample my way. Really appreciate it. And I really appreciate the viewers for making stuff like this happen. Man, thank you guys so much. Anyway, very excited for this one. I do like the Thomas Wayne. It says Batman Flashpoint on the side. On the back, you can see comic cover of Thomas Wayne right over there. Looking very, very menacing and cool. And you can see some other comic covers right over here on the bottom. Bottom. Then on this side it says Batman, window creeps up to the top, not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> So here's everything that we get with the Flashpoint Batman. You get the trading card, you get your standard issue DC Multiverse base with a coffee stain, and then we get these two guns over here, which I believe are Desert Eagles. This is one of those rare times where I actually felt pretty confident that I know what this is. So it does look like a Desert Eagle, however, the front of it is, oh, it's slanted down a little bit right over here towards the end of the barrel. So that looks good, but you can see that there is a hole port right there. So if you happen to have some effects that would work with this, uh, you could go ahead and port that in there and uh, it kind of works uh, from certain angles though it looks actually pretty good so you get two of these and you also get holsters I like having holsters for the weapons and that just works out perfectly so i really like that a lot and then we get the trading card right here which i do collect these i put them in a binder very nice image of thomas wayne batman it says batman flashpoint and then on the back you can see a read-up if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now <laughs> So in a different timeline, instead of Thomas and Martha Wayne getting killed in front of Bruce, Bruce gets killed in front of Thomas Wayne, and I think Martha dies in front of him too. So you kind of have a DC Batman Punisher thing going on with Thomas Wayne over here. But the Flashpoint storyline was incredible, and I hope you guys read it. It's one of the few comics that actually made me cry at the end. Like, I'm serious, I was reading my books and, and, and sobbing all over him. It, it was so touching. But anyway, uh, the head sculpt over here kind of reminded me of the Grim Knight Batman head sculpt just a little bit and I thought for a second they may have reused but they did not and then there is going to be another version of the Flashpoint Batman coming out with a cowless head sculpt and a sword so stay tuned for that love all the wrinkles and the cow the five o'clock shadow looks really good there is still kind of this thing happening here where it feels like too much of the face is popping out of the cowl to me kind of like the Grim Knight which it kind of reminded me of but I still really like it man I don't know maybe you don't see it I see it though and I like the tiny little ears that you're seeing over there and I like these points right here on the cape that's really neat looking these are fairly sharp and we get a nice glossy black paint right there for the bat logo looking really cool with the red right behind it I like the seams sculpted right here and then you get some nice looking gloves with some nice battle damage detail when you bend the torso back there is a little bit of a gap right there that's a bit irksome and then you get these nice belt pouches and everything again we get the nice holsters with actual guns in them and straps coming around right here uh, you can see this part right here moves around so you can move that that won't get in the way of articulation i guess it's just supposed to look like it's pretend so i, I think that just works out great and then yeah there's your thomas wayne butt and then there's looking at the legs and the boots wish we had a little bit more space over here i don't know there's this gap thing going on that kind of throws me off some i really like the cape though this is very cool looking I like the wrinkles in it, and I like that it doesn't go all the way down to the ground. I don't know, a little bit smaller than your average Batman cape. And I got a little paint nick right there, so I eh, wish it wasn't there. But anyway, I do like these knee pads and everything. Just a very cool looking figure. Now, one thing I wanted to mention was that I wish he did come with interchangeable hands. You only have the gun holding hands right there. And the articulation is okay, but there are things that kind of hold it back, I think. Now, first off, you can get the head to look up a decent amount, and I think that's cool. So I like that head range movement or that <laughs> movement of range for the head. You can move it downward that much, and then you can turn the head side to side. Kind of wants to swing up a little bit when you do that. And, of course, you get some good head pivoting right here with that whole ball joint system. You do get the butterfly joints, so... It 
it can shift forward and back and it shifts up and down for those armpit joints. And then you also get the shoulder joint, which can still move outward almost 90 degrees, even with these hard plastic cape shoulders right there. You can move the arm back, you can move forward, you get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that bend in that far, and then you get the pin uh, wrists that could hinge up and down or horizontally and swivel. And then you have a diaphragm joint that turns side to side, good diaphragm pivot, crunches forward a little bit, crunches back more so. Uh, no waist joint right here. The hips move outward that far, and then you can get them kicking forward just that much. I wish you could kick forward more than that and back a little bit. And then the upper thigh swivel is non-existent on this figure. I really wish we had thigh cuts on these figures, but yeah, especially like right underneath these, uh, you know, straps, that would have been pretty cool. But anyway, we get the double jointed knees that bend in all the way, and then you can move the ankles side to side. They will move down, they will move up, and you get ankle pivot over here along with toe articulation. And I like that we get that range of movement. It's just that this whole gappy thing right here, I don't know, I feel like that could have been executed a little better. Now to measure out the height of this Flashpoint Batman figure, you can see that he is standing over the seven inch mark. And then for a McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman figure comparison, we have the White Knight Batman, and then we have the Grim Knight Batman. Oh man, these are all looking really cool. And then for a Thomas Wayne Batman comparison, we have our McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse version right here compared to the DC Collectibles Thomas Wayne Batman. Man. And a viewer sent this to me a while ago. Just want to say thank you once again. And then here's the Thomas Wayne Batman figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider Man. Guns? Guns? Batman's not supposed to have guns. What is this? The Snyder Cut? Oh, I, sorry. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please show some love and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thanks to all these people going the extra mile supporting via Patreon. If you're interested in helping make this channel grow, check it out, link in the description below. This figure is a lot of fun. I am personally attached to the character. I really like Thomas Wayne Batman. I think it's very cool. I feel like there are some shortcomings uh, here and there with the figure, but I mostly really like it a lot. And I do have him on the Mafex stand over here which makes it very fun to get him into a cool running pose but I really like the figure man I know there's some parts of it that could have been done a little bit differently a little bit better maybe having interchangeable hands and things like that but I gotta say I am stoked for the figure I like it a lot and at the price point of 20 bucks I'm gonna give this Flashpoint Batman figure a sun rating of I love it and I'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the latest in action figure news you can find it all over at Toy News I Com. And if you want to follow me over on social media, you should check me out over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.